What up, though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I do these 10,000 dang on steps. Let's talk about why she's not why she's not replying to you, bro. I think I know why. You're giving her the ick, man. You're coming off a bit too needy. That's that's usually what happens. You know, if you if you got some lady, y'all exchange contact info, and uh, you found yourself in the unfortunate situation of you're reaching out to her and she's not replying back. You blew it, brother. You blew it, but. Why did you blow it? How did you blow it? You know, it's usually, it's usually a few different things, but you ultimately gave her the ick, as women call it. You know, a guy may say or do certain things, behave a certain way, display certain patterns of behavior, and she just finds this to be an extreme turnoff. And now she really don't want to mess with you anymore because you didn't gave her the infamous ick. So some of these things, you know, they they should be, they just should be common sense. But I see many of you guys, you, you still kind of need some help with this. So that's okay. I'm, I'm here to be your internet big brother and help you out with this sort of stuff. So replying too fast. That is one thing that I notice that guys do. She sends you a message, you reply so damn fast, like instantly. And you know, she may have sent you that message just to check in with you. And she may really not know what to say next. And you responded so quickly, you didn't give her time to think of something. So. She's trying to fill you out at that moment and kind of find some common ground. And you're just, you're a little too eager. That could be a bit of a turnoff. You're too eager. You know, when you act eager, that gives off a, a, a scarcity vibe. Now, what do I mean by scarcity? Like you don't have any other options, you know, and no woman wants a guy that no other woman wants. So if you're replying to her right away like that, that's always going to read as you really ain't got no other place that you spend it. Like she, she is the only potential prospect right now. And that's just not really going to do it for her. So there's, there's that. Also, um, you kind of give off the impression like you don't have a whole lot going on. You know, make her wait. It's fine. Make her wait. She texts you, if you're in the middle of doing something, finish what you're doing. If you're washing those dishes, finish washing them. If you're washing your clothes, go ahead and finish putting that load in. It's okay, make her wait. If you don't reply for 10, 12 minutes, that's fine. That, that's going to make you look better. It really does make you look better. So the fact that you're not replying right away. And some of these things that I'm telling y'all, I've heard directly from women. These aren't things that I just, some of it is I figured it out on my own. And some of it is I've, I've heard feedback from women telling me this. So I have been told by women that it is a turnoff when a guy has nothing really going on. Like he's too, too available, you know? So if you have nothing going on, you, you, you appear as being too available and that's just not hot, man. That's not going to get her interested or keep her interested. There has to be some, some mystique about you. Um, I know that when you're in the talking phase, you're supposed to be getting to know people, but in my experience, keeping back a bit about yourself to make yourself be more mysterious, it is a plus. You know, women get bored very easily. Um, you know, when, when they're dating, especially if they already kind of have some orbiters, which women usually do. If it's a woman that's fairly attractive, she's got some orbiters. Don't think for a second that you're the only guy that she's talking to. You're not. Don't even play yourself like that. But uh, she's already got orbiters and she's kind of bored with them. That's why she's entertaining you. 
So if you're gonna appear just like the orbiters, you know, you're gonna be talking too much, saying this and that, answering questions uh, that, that she really didn't ask about, telling her things about you that she's really not that interested in. These are ultimately gonna work against you. They're gonna make you a less desirable prospect. Um, so what else can I help y'all with to help you avoid the ick? You know, um, I don't think it's a good idea to ask her about other guys. Women tend to take that as being weird. I wouldn't ask her any questions about her ex-boyfriend and why they broke up because women tend to take that as being weird. Now, I'm not saying you can't ever ask her questions about that, you know, but that's later on when you guys are more established. Um, if you guys are just starting off, you know, kicking it or whatever, you don't want conversations to be too serious. You want things to, you know, just just keep it, keep it light. Do not, and this is a good one, do not send her messages that are like paragraphs. <laughs> like really, if she if she sends you a text message that is a few words long. And I'm gonna come over here and sit for a second. She sends you a text message that is a few words long. My brother, do not reply. Let me get that light behind me. Do not reply with some essay response ever. Like nothing turns a chick off more than that. Cause the problem is, is that you are showing way more interest than she is you kind of have to play it cool a bit at this point and show less interest in her than what she's showing in you because women typically like that the thing is is that women have to like you more than you like them you usually get the best result at this point in i don't want to say the relationship but when you're trying to like get to know when she's showing more interest in you than what you're showing in her. This tends to work out very favorably for you. So you don't wanna to ask too many questions. You don't wanna ask you know, too many prying questions, especially you don't wanna to give too much info. You don't wanna respond you know, to uh, questions with, with an essay. Keep stuff simple. Don't crack a lot of jokes. I know women be like, oh, you know, I like a, I like a guy that can make me laugh or whatever. That's really not all that true, man. You know, I, I've heard this a bunch of times. I have not found that to be true. I'm not saying that women don't like a guy that can make them laugh on occasion or whatever, but dude, don't try to be the, the uh, court jester, especially when you're not really good at telling jokes and stuff. You gotta be honest with yourself. If you're not really that guy, you're not very good at telling jokes and stuff, then you gotta like hold that back because that stuff's gonna come off as corny and that's gonna give her the ick too. Um, do not double, do not double text. If you send her a message and she does not reply, do not send her another text, bro. Do not. She's seen it and she chose not to reply right now for whatever reason. She could be busy. She could be with some other dude, honestly, you know, but she didn't, she didn't reply to it for whatever her reasons were. And if you follow up with a second text, that's just going to like annoy her and she's still not going to reply, you know, and uh, if you're going to reach out first, understand that if you send some long winded text message and she replies with OK or some other one word uh, answer or two word answer. Basically, you, you don't you don't want answers that are only a couple words long. That is a total absence of interest. And guys, many of us can be hard at reading the room and picking up on obvious signs because I've seen this happen and dudes, they just keep they just keep pursuing and it just gets worse and worse and worse. So the, these are some of the key things that you can do to kind of avoid giving her the ick. Now, ultimately, you got to have some game. You got to have some charm. You got to have some charisma. These things aren't going to guarantee 
that you don't give her the ick but they will help ultimately what's going to decide what gives her the ick or not is your personality how you communicate with her um you know how just overall how you carry yourself and whatnot don't hang out with no chick talking about a bunch of fucking anime don't be on the phone with some chick talking about uh you know video games you know uh don't be hanging out with her talking about the the gym and all that sort of stuff bro they do not care i tell you this and i'm i'm a i'm a uh leave it here after i say this women like that you go to the gym they're always gonna like that you go to the gym women like a strong fit guy that is undeniable the whole oh i like dad boss that's that's bs a woman loves a six-pack but even though she likes the fact that you go to the gym don't mean that she want to hear about the gym she couldn't she couldn't care less about you was at the gym doing this today and you got to do that she couldn't care less she is not interested whatsoever so she likes the results of you going to the gym but she doesn't like conversations about it about what you were doing when you were there and whatnot i've seen guys do this and that as well you know the, the whole talking about the gym uh, you know I, I avoid doing that too like just certain things you got to understand women have no interest in and that's okay don't talk to the woman about you had to change your oil you did it yourself you had to swap out the tire on your car they couldn't care less all they care about is the results man most women really that's all they care about is the results they don't care about the how it got to there they just want the results so exercise a bit of self-awareness some of these things i believe should be common sense but as i said i see a lot of y'all still struggle with some of this stuff and that's why i'm here to kind of give you a few tips so if this has been you if you've done any of these things you know to take some corrective action uh, and possibly you'll get some better results so i'm gonna leave this here i appreciate y'all connecting with me i'm about to get back to stepping thumbs up this video subscribe holla